Welcome back to another weapon build video. And it's about time to show you guys the build that I kind of just did a little short video on and just threw it out there for the content for the people to see and just eat it up. So I was trying to test out more things with this weapon, but um, I was like, man, I'm just do it with you guys. I'm not going to sit here and take longer to make the video. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. This is my Red Crit Blaster. This is the Tomb Finger Kick Gun Weapon. For me crafting this weapon, I I think you can see it, right? Yeah, here's everything that I used for this. The Grit, Steady Slam, Chamber, Tomb Finger, of course, and Loaders, the Splat. Because Splat is going to give you the highest critical chance. Um, and the Steady Slam, I don't remember what it was going to give you. However... I think it was just going to give you something like low um, status. Maybe that was Splat, actually. Splat might give you low status. I think it was giving me low fire rate or something like that. But all these are really good because it's going to make this weapon really, really good. So as you see for these stats and everything, um, I don't care about quick shot. It's the charge shot that we should be looking at. All right, we got 38% critical chance. We got... 2.3 to crit multiplier and 16% status. We got 32.5 radiation damage, 54.5 impact damage, of course. That's pretty much just it. It's got a charge radio attack, all that other good stuff. Here is the build. I'm not going to take off any mods. I'm going to show you just completely what I have and talk about it. Now, this is probably my most insane red crit build, all right? And the reason why I say this is because you see it right there. It's damn near under my cursor. Toon Finger, the Crit Hawk. All right, and this I have 150.6 critical chance for my Riven and 45.3% reload speed. Now, this is what you need to make the weapon Red Crit crazy. Probably not true. However, though, this is going to add a lot of red crit value to your weapon. Um, I heard some comments. And why did I say heard? I've seen some comments. I didn't hear no comments. I've seen some comments, though. Um, people are saying about Arkings that I'm using, of course, the buffs that you see. That plays a part. But there's some arcanes that people are expecting or speculations that they think were the arcanes that I was using. Not the case, however. However, there is an arcane that I was using, but it's not the arcane that people were expecting to see. I'm going to have two builds separate without the Riven, of course. And we'll just try to do everything in one video. So just sit back and relax. Enjoy it. Galvanized Chamber. 80% multi-shot, of course. 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. That's up to five times. Really important mod. Galvanized scope, really important mod. On headshot, 120% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds. On headshot kill, 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds. That's up to five times. This is going to make it red crit crazy for the Riven. Speed trigger, you're going to need it because of a mod. 60% fire rate, two times for bows, of course. 90% toxin and 90% electricity when we use the 90 mods. All right. Critical delay. 200% critical chance increase. Very important mod as well. But it decreases our fire rate by 20%. So, yeah. And vital sense. 120% critical damage. Terminal velocity. It's going to give us uh, projectile speed. 45%. I have the formants again to make it maxed. A max mod. But, man, I'm not doing it again. So pack charge, all right, a uh, cool mod, and I think it's cool because it's going to not have to reload, all right? It's going to charge for you. You don't have to use ammo for none of this. So battery charge delay is reduced by 50%. And of course, since I have reload speed and I have primary mercies on, primary mercies is going to give you 30% damage for four seconds, stacks up to five times, I'm sorry, stacks up to 12 times. 30% reload speed. So it's going to reload fast. All right. 
All right, on ring five, everything on that, you know? So we're set, we're good. Let's go ahead and test it out. So test number one is gonna show you just everything that I have on here. And you can just see the damage. Primary dead, I did have primary deadhead on. However, I had to take that mod off. It was gonna help us do more damage. I'm sorry, that arcane off. It was gonna help us do more damage, but however, it's very, very annoying to sit here and try to get headshots all the time. Since, you know, arcane, I'm sorry, mod. Jesus, these, these mods and arcane are really messing up my head. Since we do just get headshot, uh, just straight on headshot for arcane, Ar argon scope. It does just do that. Like, you just get a straight-on headshot, and it literally doesn't have to react off a kill for, on headshot, if you understand what I'm saying. Because that's what prim that's what primary deadhead does. You gotta get a kill on headshot in order to activate the hurricane. So, yeah, it's pretty annoying. And I just, yeah you guys want to use that arcane go right ahead but it's pretty annoying how you know everything is just how everything goes for the arcane basically and it just kind of ruins the fun of the arcane or the build that i try to hear and make so yeah prime immersus is the way for me so the first build i really don't need any buffs to be honest i really really don't i mean we can like i said we can go back and forth with that but I wanted to move on to the second one because the second build is going to just do well this is where basically the buffs come in and critical chance is now decreased because we don't have a riven to 114 percent this does great damage alone without a uh, arcane or, or whatever buff basically our critical chance buff whatever i really don't want to show that I want to show the buffs. That's what you guys came here to see. So that's what I'm going to do. First thing is first, for the buffs, I was using Arcane Rise. Arcane Rise gives you 60% damage All right, for 150% primary weapons for 24 seconds. That's what I was using. Another thing you can use on top of that is a Arcane that a lot of people think I was using, which is the overcharge for Cascadia, and this gives you overshields, 30% critical chance. So I don't know if this is gonna pop up or not, and it, yeah, it's not. So first thing first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the buffs for the second version, and then I'm gonna move on to the, uh, back to the first build, and then show you all the crazy buffs that you could be doing while having that ribbon on. So for our first, um, buff we need to be using let's go ahead and switch this because it's not working like a goofball i am we need to reload the first buff is arcane rise the second one is going to be of course cascadia flare we're gonna put these two together And that was a crazy ass buff. Like literally crazy ass buff. For Arcane Rise, you have to reload, of course. Get a reload, get a re there we go. Insane. So that was not bad. This is what you're basically gonna be doing if you want to have a crazy buff for the second build that doesn't have a ribbon all right um i don't know any other damages that can you uh you can apply with our narcane or something like that yeah i just don't know i think secondary mercy is just anything above that or sorry pr primary or merciless and um that's pretty much just it without any other arcane adding more damage for a primary weapon that's really just it that's all i can think of um, now moving on to the second build, or sorry, first one again. Show you the crazy bus with that. So 
So Arcane Rise. So yeah, that was not bad at all. I mean, like I said, I don't think it needs the extra buff. Do it again. Just wipes all them out pretty much easy and clean. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the buffs were lacking. Like, I don't think it should have done more damage than that. We're going to add critical chance more on it when you use cast. Wow. Carrier Prime, basically. <laughs> Can't get the words out. All right. You just need these three mods on, of course. So, again, primary. Basically, the first build on top of that again. Yeah, I just cannot talk today. Okay, there we go. Now we're seeing more records. Now we're seeing more records because of him. Because of you, Carrier Prime, we're seeing more records. That was good. Now, second build, again. Now the second build, of course, I have the Bane mod on. And the reason why is because you can just have that on while not really focus on any type of damage. You can just focus on the enemy target damage. So, right? Or you can just switch duration. Whatever works for you, that's gonna be optional. Just to explain that really quick. Now with everything from Cascadia to Arcane Rise, let's see how this works. So you see some red da uh, red crit damage popping up in there, but really it just didn't even need it because, well, you had the self damage to the Bane mod basically. And then you have all the other buffs, it just didn't even need the red crit damage. It just did more same damage alone. So, that's really cool. That's really good. I think the second build is not bad at all. You don't need crazy record damage, of course, to even freaking get it activated and blah, blah, blah. Like, you literally just, this build is already set to do amazing damage. Uh, and I think we've seen it. We, we didn't see it without the buffs. But I'm telling you, it's good without the buffs. Like, it, you don't need it. But however... The buffs do make it more powerful though. That's what I will say. When taking this Tomb Finger build to the still path, just, oh man, it's wrecking everything. It is wrecking everything. This is why I love kick guns because you can build them however you want. There is no change in this and it's always going to have your results. And they turn out perfectly how you want it. Come on, let's add that back in there. I gotta remember I can't take any damage when I'm using Cascadia Overcharge on this. But the damage is just... Man. So, that's basically everything I showed you with the buffs on secondary build and then i show you the primary build with the buffs as well and without it and they both perform really great but of course everyone's going to want the buffs the buffs is what makes it stronger so what makes it very unique and powerful and i just seem to can't keep that buff on for overcharge <laughs> literally cannot however we're gonna end off this video here let me know what you guys think about the builds in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.